to my channel, it is your girl Scott here today, and if you are new, hit the subscribe button down below so you do not miss another video. And today's video is going to be your guys' favorite topic, ABBA. I'm going to be doing like a mini CD and cassette collection, so I have these CDs here and these cassettes as well. And without further ado, let's just get into my little collection. Let's start with the CDs, and it's very small, and I think basically most of them I like greatest hits because that's what it seems like I only can find. Anyway, so we'll start with kind of like chronological order, if you will. The first one I have on CD is Ring Ring. I really want this on vinyl. Have not been able to find it. It's so expensive on some of the eBay copies that I've been seeing. But I love, I love, I think it's an underrated album. The first album, Ring Ring, is very underrated because it's got Ring Ring. Uh, one of my personal favorites is People Need Love. And then also Love Isn't Easy But Sure Is Hard Enough. And then Here's Your Brother, like... These are songs that like people need to listen to in today's standards because you know the world's like gone crazy. And then the next one in my collection is the ABBA Arrival album. This entire album is that like a special place in my heart. That's me, why did it have to be me, Tiger, my love, my life. Of course you got Dancing Queen and When I Kiss the Teacher, Knowing Me, Knowing You, entire great album. And then this one I actually got for Christmas this past year because my mom knew I became like obsessed with the Boo Boo album. So she got me it on CD. Um, I just love this album so much. And then the rest of the- okay, so I'm just like showing these ones right away. So I got both versions of Voyage. So this is the one I pre-ordered off the website when ABBA Craze happened last year on September 2nd. So this one comes with the ABBA stickers. I have not used them, they're all brand new still. I kind of want to do something special with these, but they're really cute, so here's this one. If you guys don't know what it looks like, so here's the ABBA Voyage stickers. Um, here's the one with Benny and Bajorn with their avatars. And then, and yet that in Fida. And this one comes with like the booklet. I mean, most of you guys, if you're ABBA collectors, you probably know what came in this one, but here's that. Um, this one I do not play, I keep this for like collector's purposes. Now the one I do play is the one from Target. This is the special edition. If you guys want to check out my ABBA vinyl collection, check out the description for link for it because I show all of my ABBA albums and I have, I think, every single studio album except Ring Ring um, on vinyl, but here it is. It's the same way as the vinyl one is. And this one I keep in my car because your girl is addicted to ABBA. And then the last three are basically like greatest hits are like the singles. So this one is ABBA, the singles, the first 10 years. So this was done in 1982 and it's a double CD. Um, I have not played this in a hot minute. I forgot how pretty it was. So this is what it looks like when you open it up, this little booklet and stuff. I just, I don't know. I feel like there could have been different tracks listed. I'm hearing those as the singles, but I feel like some of these, some of these are very underrated. Like I feel like the day before you came and under attack towards their end of their music career as a group in the 80s, those get very overlooked by some ABBA fans. Not saying all, I'm not judging anybody. And then these two were my first in my collection, so when I got like really into ABBA, like on my own, like I grew up listening to ABBA, my mom and dad used to listen to them, they had their vinyl and stuff in the house because we used to usually use vinyl stuff, sometimes still, and then of course YouTube, that's all we would play was ABBA or oldies, well not oldies, I don't know what you want to call it. So this is the first one I saved my Christmas money for, was the ABBA 20th Century Millennium Collection. It is in very, very, like, U-shape. I literally listen to this, like, every day for, like, three or four years straight, and it stays in my car, because my car still has a CD player, but this is basically, like, their, like, 11 top hits, so, like, Waterloo, SOS, Mamma Mia, Fernando, Dancing Queen, etc., but this one I literally listen to all the time. And then same thing with my other one, this is ABBA Gold, it's very dirty. It's, it's these two stay in my car. If you cannot tell because they're just like really like a lot of love on them so this has like dancing queen take a chance on me lay all your love on me super trooper i have a dream so most of their stuff from through the 80s this other one just only has the winner takes it all so that's that one abba gold and then i heard that they're doing an anniversary edition which i think is kind of crazy because i've 30 years since this came out like that's mind-blowing to me and then I'm just going to throw this in here for the heck of it. I know some of you guys think like whatever about the Mamma Mia movie franchise stuff, but I have the first movie on soundtrack on CD. My mom has the Mamma Mia Here We Go Again, the second movie soundtrack, and we keep that in her car. But this is that. And then now we'll go on to the cassettes. 
Okay, y'all, so here are my four ABBA cassettes, and I'm gonna tell you you're gonna have deja vu with uh, two of these, because they're ABBA's greatest hits, and I actually have it on vinyl as well. Anyway, so the first cassette I actually acquired when I first started my ABBA collection was the ABBA Ring Ring album. If you guys can't tell, I have like a really, really like, I'm pushing this album for you guys. You guys need to listen to it. it it's very underrated, I feel like. A lot of people just like overlook a lot of the hidden gems on this album, like I said earlier about the CD, because I have this on CD. And then I have the same cassette, which I just realized before filming. This is the same album twice, basically. Um, it's fine, though. I mean, it's the same photo shoot, you know. And I, I mean, these are just really good collectibles for my collection. So we got ABBA Greatest Hits. And then the last one that I recently acquired was the ABBA Rival album. This album I have in every single format. So I have it on CD, cassette, and vinyl. And of course online streaming because you know your girl uses a lot of Spotify for streaming her ABBA content. And that is my cassette collection of ABBA so far. You guys made it this far in this video. I thank you guys so much for watching my ABBA CD and cassette collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope soon I can add more to this crazy little collection. And if you guys are interested, I did a ABBA vinyl collection a couple months ago. So you guys can check that out in the description below. And also just hit the little I or even just browse my channel for my vinyl collections. I've done an ABBA collection. I've done Carpenters, Bee Gees, and I also did basically Rollers and Linda Ronstadt. You know, the goods, the greatest of all time in the 70s. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below so you do not miss any more content from my channel. I usually do vlogs and a lot of 70s content. So keep on dancing to ABBA, keep on smiling, try and stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!